Phoenix, you ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Once again, we are back, guys, with another uh, Japan Crate unboxing this week. Or not week, this month. I wish it was weekly. That'd yeah. Nice. <laughs> one, one box a week would be nice. But uh, we got the June Japan Crate this time. And, you know, it's the same box. I was kind of hoping for something special. But I guess these are their standard boxes. And then uh, a couple times a year, they have like special occasions or like celebrations where- I like um, the uh, special ones better. I mean, yeah, like the, the special ones usually have like themed snacks too, which are kind of different. Yeah. But like the boxes are much nicer. Like this one's nice. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good looking box. I don't mind the red and the white, but um, I like, you know, the, the blue one we got a couple months ago with like the mountain and the flowers. Oh, yeah. And then- was that uh, March? Maybe? That was March or April, I forgot. Yeah. But that was nice. And um, I think next month should be special as well because in Japan, there's the Tanabata celebration in July, which is like, um, the Star Festival or something like that. I don't know exactly what it's about to be honest, but yeah, I heard that was gonna be a special box, so next month should be pretty exciting. But nonetheless, we got a new box this month, June Crate. So uh, without further ado, Phoenix, let's jump into it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Okay, I got my Swiss Army knife. So let's uh, quickly cut the tape off here. And Phoenix, as always, has been very much uh, anticipating this. He's been asking me nonstop, basically, for how, how many days? A week? Something like that? It's been like a week, right? Maybe two days? Three days? No. No, it's, it's been... It's been much longer than that. No, it's... How... It's, uh... Oh. I feel like it's been like a week. Mm, I, I think, I think it's, been, it's felt like a week. Maybe he just kept like, asking me so much. It's been like uh, five or four days. <laughs> Okay, close enough. But anyways, we open the box. Here we go. And I'll give you guys a quick look at the inside, the contents here. Ta-da! Oh, we should do a, a, what do you call it? A thumbnail, right? Yeah. Okay, make a face. Okay, we should have something. We should have something that works. Okay, so yeah, there's the box, guys. Let's grab the pamphlet from inside. It says June 2021. Here's a quick look. I don't know if it's uh, clear to you guys, but there's a... Girl on the front with a penguin on a swing and some fruits. Uh, pretty cool. There you go. There's the pamphlet. And Phoenix, why don't you take a look at what you might want to start with while I uh, read the description uh, okay. for this box, if there is one. Ooh, yo, so every month there's like, like a random winner that gets this like prize box and this month it looks like the winner will get a bunch of demon slayer uh manga as well as some like figures a switch pokemon sword well, I don't, I'll that's pretty take sweet the switch. that's pretty sweet there you go um it's kind of blurry but you guys can get the idea and yeah that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool okay so a couple things here what's happening in japan there's the Fusa Firefly Festival, which is happening in mid-June. There's the Izawanomiya Otau Festival <laughs> on June 24th. And uh, yeah, okay, that's enough, that's enough of this. That's enough of this. Let's, let's just choose a snack we want to go for. I already you want to start with should. the small one? Really? Yeah. You want to start with this, this tiny to, one? I want to slowly uh, get to the bigger ones. You want to start small and then go to, go to the big ones? Yeah. All right, okay, so Phoenix's first choice is this cola candy. No, so I really um, like cola gummies. I mean, no, everybody loves cola candies. Let me let me quickly see if I can make the camera focus on this. There you go, little cola gummy candy. And Phoenix, why don't you open that up okay. while I read the description. I don't think they need a description, honestly, but just in case, just in case the people out there that haven't had cola candy, you should try it, it's, it's very good. Um, Wait, where is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. There. Oh, no. no, that's not it. Oh, cola gummy. Okay, oh. it's one of our favorite gummies. This bottle-shaped gummy has a refreshing cola taste with a sour twist. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'll All right, take, take a bite. White. Take a bite. Mm, a little sour. A little sour? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Tiny is a bit sour. Yeah. You can have the rest though. Thanks. It's good. It's 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 really good. I mean, it's 
cola candy. <laughs> it's, cola, it's a cola gummy, right? Yeah. It's quite good. Um, nothing really unique about it. It's not like this. It's any really different from like what you get from like a random store here. But that's a good start. It's a good start. I would uh, rate it an eight. Sure, eight out of ten is is fine. It with me. Okay. Your turn. So we got a bunch of stuff, man. Let me look at this pamphlet real quick. Um, you sure you want to start small? We can start small, okay. Let's do the ultra sour lemon chewing candy. So uh -oh. that'd be. Yeah, I won't. I don't want to. That'd be this one right here. Let me try to focus this one too. Okay, that's focused enough for me. There you go. You got a lemon guy on the front. Okay, so it says get ready for your lips to pucker the super sour lemon flavored bar type gum. Makes ours. Oh, it's gum. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean. We'll spit it out pretty soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, you know, chew it for the flavor and then we can spit it out after to eat other stuff. Okay, so here is a stick for you. I'm not a person that eats warheads in its spare time. <laughs> True. I like sour. You don't like sour as much, right? Well, when it's too much, I don't like it. Okay, let's try it. You don't think it's sour? Well, not as sour. Really? Keep chewing, keep chewing. I put the whole stick in my mouth first. You only had half, so maybe there's a, del there's a delay. No, now it's setting in. It's setting in now? Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's sour. That's sour. It's starting to clear up. Maybe your sour tolerance is better. Tolerance. To tolerance <laughs> is better than you might think. Because I think that's actually quite sour. I think that's quite sour. <sighs> okay. It's going away now. Yeah. It's going away now, but man. That's legit. That that's a legit sour gum. I love sour man. That's also an eight for me. Eight out of ten. Hmm. Phoenix? I think I'll give it a seven and a half. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's spit these out and then we'll uh keep going. Okay, so we got a bunch more stuff here. Let me actually just hold the box up for Phoenix to pick from. I think this might be more fun. Uh, I think I'll choose this. The blue box? The blue the blue bag? Seems like a lollipop candy. Lollipop candy, interesting. Okay. So why don't you read that for us this time? Mm, sorbet lollipop cider. Dip and link your taste bugs with Ramoon cider candy. A fun treat to eat. Ramoon cider candy, huh? Yeah. I don't, oh, I think it's a lollipop. I think it's, it might be... Oh, you know what? It is a lollipop. I can feel it. Okay, so let's 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 rip that open. We're gonna eat it. There's some powder in there. Uh, you can eat it. You can eat it. You can just tell me how it is. Okay, mm -hmm. so basically, it's a blue lollipop, as you guys can see right there. But there is you can white some, powder in there. You can have some powder. I'm good. <laughs> There's white powder in there. So I think what you're supposed to do is actually put it in your mouth, mm -hmm. right? Actually, I think I'm gonna save it. You sure? Yeah. Oh, you gonna have it later? Yeah. Why, oh, why don't Why don't you? I think it's fine if you just like taste it now and put it back in the bag and then you can have it later, right? Okay. So try it now. Hmm. And then we can put it in the bag to like... That's sweet. To uh, stick the like white powder stuff, right? Yeah. I think this is how we're supposed to eat it. So you cover it in the white powder. And then... Wow, that's a lot. Wow, dipping uh, sugar that's quite in... quite a bit. Okay. Dipping sugar in sugar. Dipping sugar in sugar, yeah, double sugar. Hmm. Is the powder different? Yeah, it's a little sour. Oh, okay, so it's kind of sour powder. Lot, lots of sour stuff in this um, in this bag, a box. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with the festival stuff that's going on in Japan. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, either way, what do you think about that one? Well, probably uh, eight. Oh, really? So you like it quite a bit. Yeah. All right, so there's the lollipop for you. And now let's do something that we, we can both try. Uh, I'll pick this time. Okay. I'll pick this time. 
So I've been feeling this one. I've been looking at this one for a bit since we opened the box. So yeah, I'm gonna it's go in with the this middle. One. Yeah, it's in the middle. It's a very bright bag, bright pink. And it is, I believe, strawberry chocolate covered pretzels, which sounds delightful. So we can't really go wrong with that. Can't really go wrong with that. So open up this bag, Phoenix. Yeah. And uh, I'll read the description. It says, pretzel chocolate strawberry. Chocolate pretzels are a must. This snack tops with, this snack tops it with a added crispy texture coated with sweet and sour strawberry chocolate. The pretzel flavor is adjusted to match the strawberry, making it more compatible with uh, chocolate for a delicious strawberry choco pretzel concoction. concoction. It's so crunchy, I love it. So crunchy? I think I'll give it a nine. A nine, huh? Okay. I haven't tried it yet, but there's your chocolate, strawberry chocolate pretzel. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the, best, that's the best one so far. Yeah. That is easily the winner so far. Nine out of 10, man. Nine out of 10, super crunchy pretzel, delicious strawberry chocolate coating. Um, now time to ask ourselves why we didn't choose 10. Uh, I think it's hard for me to give a 10 this early in the video because I want to leave space. Nine for... and a half. Sure, uh, I'm, I'm gonna still stick with a nine. Cause like I said, it's hard for me to give a 10 this early just because I want to leave room for like even higher ratings, right? Like what if like there's something else? You can else? always just do 10.1. But that defeats the purpose of the scale. Oh. It's a 10 point scale, Phoenix. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We should matter. do it a 10.1 scale. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but um, yeah, no, just in case there's something I like even better, I don't want to give this a 10 and then give something else a 10. Cause like people are gonna be like, okay, well like if you like that one better, then how come they're both both tens, right? So nine nine for me, nine for me. But guys, strawberry chocolate pretzels, delicious, man. So so good. All right, you're up next. We still got a lot of stuff to get mm, through. I think I'll choose this. <laughs> you want the small one again? Yeah. All right, all right. He got this tiny little bottle gummy thing. All right, there you go. Finally got it to focus. So it's the little blue bottle. Right there, and uh, why don't you open that up, Phoenix? We'll each have half. We can. Uh, it's, I think it's a gummy candy, so you can bite the top half. I'll have the bottom half. Um, so this one says Ramune bottle gummy. This gummy looks like a miniature Ramune bottle, and it sure does it taste like one. What is uh, actually Ramune? I don't know, but I do know what Ramune tastes like at this point. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got like a energy drink kind of taste to it. Um, you know, sweet, kind of refreshing. Yeah. Solid. Seven out of 10. Cool. Seven out of 10. Do seven out of 10 too. Okay. So my turn. I'm not gonna go with like the tiny ones. Like I could go, I could choose this one. I could go with this little pink bottle, you know, but no, 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 no. It's my turn, Phoenix. We're gonna go for something a little bit bigger. I see this pineapple candy. I'm interested. Mm. I'm pretty sure it's pineapple gummies. I'm pretty interested too. There you go. Yep. Pineapple. No. Is it pineapple or mango? Oh, it's pineapple. Okay, yeah. So pineapple gummies. Looking good. There you go. So open up the package, Phoenix, and let's see what it says here. Um, Kaju gummy golden pineapple. Using concentrated fruit juices, these pineapple shaped gummies are juicy and have the mellow sweetness of the original fruit. That makes it like you're almost eating the real thing, but in gummy form. So, a gummy pineapple. It is pineapple shaped as well. There you go. And let's try it. Yeah. Guys, I was going to show you it and not give it to you, but here. You can just grab another one. Also, I picked this one, so I should have the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it does have that like uh that like tingle. Oh, it gives you like the pineapple tingle yeah on your tongue I feel that I feel that yeah it's very very much pineapple Terrence, I know why there's a tingle explain Phoenix explain the science behind it so uh, there's this like uh, I think it's like this chemical inside it what's the chemical called I don't know <laughs> but it eats uh, pro it eats like uh, like uh, proteins and Basically, when you eat it, it's basically also like eating uh, 
uh, your tongue. So the chemical in the pineapple is actually like very mildly dissolving your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. No more pineapples for us. <laughs> nah, I'm still nah. gonna eat it. I, I, I knew it was some kind of chemical. I didn't really look into, into it too much, but it's good to know that the uh, school system here is is teaching the very important things in education. Uh, no, was it from education. school? Oh, uh, was it from a YouTube video? No. What was it from? I was researching. Like you Google Googled it yourself? Yeah. Wow, look at that! Smart kid! Smart kid, the future is bright, guys. Um, okay, from there, we got Phoenix's turn. I, I really am excited for this one. Okay, we'll do this one Do then. this one? Okay. Yeah. I, I also, you, don't, you don't have to pick it. You don't have to I pick. also want to try it. Okay, okay, so this is caramel corn, but it's peach flavored caramel corn. Peach mm -hmm. flavor. Oh. I guess I'll read this Peach one. caramel corn. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up here. Okay, what does it say, Phoenix? Read it to us. So, had a back with it, uh, with another with another new flavor of their cam caramel corn, made with a variety of fruit juice, syrup, and peach juice. Each caramel corn is sprinkled with a finishing powder, with the fruity, refreshing flavor paired with the caramel corn taste. It's a perfect combo for summer. All right. So basically, peach flavored caramel corn. Yeah. Or peach corn, actually. Because it's not really caramel, is it? No, I think it's caramel. <laughs> it's peach caramel? Well, I don't know, but it has it in the name. It does have it in the name, that's true. Okay, so we got these little squiggly things again, kind of like Cheetos, like mini Cheetos. So Chester's. here we go, Phoenix. That's yours. And that is mm. mine. Okay, there you go. Those are the little uh, caramel corn. I have a sour taste. It also it's a little The slide is sour. The slide is sour. Yeah. Really sweet. Yeah. Very sweet. Yeah. I might give now, this you know, a 10. It's just a slight hint of peach. It's not like super peachy, right? It's like the aftertaste is kind of peachy. But caramel corn is always good. I, I might give it a 10. You might or you will? I will. You will? Yeah. It's a 10 for you? Yeah. First 10, guys. Big deal. First hen of the video goes to peach caramel corn, and I can't really argue with it, but you know, I'm still gonna go with a, a nine for this one. So it gets nine for me. I like it a lot, but it doesn't blow me away. And a 10 needs to like blow my taste buds, you know, it needs to blow my mind. So this doesn't quite get us there, but it's close. Close. Why do you face pop me? <laughs> you didn't really get a do a ten. So you're, you're upset now that yeah. I didn't. <laughs> hey, it's okay. We have different tastes, you know. We have different tastes. Get a little bit closer, Phoenix. All right, here we go. Okay. So let's move on. We can't. Your turn. Only, only focus on that one, but you can have most of it if you like it so much. And uh, what's next? What's next? it's my turn, right? It's my yeah. turn. Okay, so. We still got this Kit Kat, obviously, but I think I'll save that for a bit. Um, ooh, this is... Hidden in the depths. This is unique. I don't think we've seen something like this before. Hidden in the depths. Okay, so this is shimmy taco corn. It looks like star, uh, brown star uh, Patrick with a hole. It looks like brown Patrick with a hole? Yeah. <laughs> like Patrick Star from Spongebob? Yeah. A little bit. It looks a little bit like Patrick Star. It's, I mean, it's star shaped, so that's probably it. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Chocolate, um, chocolate corn. So I'm assuming it's gonna be similar texture to the caramel corn, except chocolate covered this time, which uh, sounds even better to me. So this might be like a 10.1 for you. Yeah. This might be a 10.1 for you. I hope okay, so. Open up the bag. I will read this time. Um, shimmy chocolate corn. This bag is full of star shaped. Corn snack soaked in delicious chocolate flavor for the perfect pairing. The texture is light and crispy too. Um, that before you know it, the whole bag is gone. All right. Sorry, you the opened, bag is gone. How did you open it like this, Phoenix? <laughs> how are we supposed to not make it go stale now? <laughs> it's gonna be. It's all open. You're supposed to leave it on like at least partially so we can kind of close it, you know? 
But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So there's the there's the chocolate yeah. corn in there. It, it probably won't even have time to go stale. That's true, you're gonna finish it before that, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got a brown Patrick. <laughs> we got a star star patch or chocolate Patrick. Um I wonder if I should give it a Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what I like about this a lot, actually? Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet. It's not too sweet at all. It's a nice level of sweetness. Almost uh, more like dark chocolate than, uh, than milk chocolate. I might give it a 10.1. 10.1? Yeah. I thought so. I thought so. This one, yo, gets a solid 9.5 for me. 9.5. You want a 10, huh? You want a 10? Change it. I'm not changing it. I'm not changing it for nobody, but... This is the closest to perfection we've had so far in this in this box. I think it's sure. over perfection. I think it's over perfection. Okay, you're you're a very kind reviewer, clearly. Um, that's great though. That is so good. I think we already half. You already had half. So yeah, that's fine if you mess up the uh, the, the bag because it's not going stale. Yo, Phoenix is just chowing down. He just can't stop. Okay, have one more before we go. Have one more or grab like three. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so big fan of the chocolate corn for both of us, especially Phoenix. That's a that's a hit right there. And uh, yeah, it's you now, Phoenix. What else do you want? What else do you want? I ha I have been uh, trying to get this one. Ah, uh, you want the drink, huh? Yeah, I want the drink. Okinawa Shekwasha. <laughs> Okinawa Shekwasha. There it is. I'm gonna try to get to focus Six while you read. Depressa drink. Depressa drink. That sounds depressing. Yeah. One of the <laughs> beverage containing whole squeezed fruit juice that is made by squeeze a whole fragrant Shikuwasa fruits from Yenbaru Okinawa. I can't get this to focus. You keep reading. Oh, well. I'm, I'm still trying. The sweet and sour flavors are a nice refresh. It said refresh for your tasting buds. Tasting buds. Your tasting buds? Yeah, it says it. It says that the sweet and sour, the sweet and sour flavors are nice, refreshed for your tasting buds. I think it's supposed to be nice, uh, refresh and are nice, refreshing. Nice, refresh for your tasting buds. Apparently, there you pair go. Pair the ice, uh, pair with ice, so for the perfect summer night drink. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, do you want to pair it with ice? Who in the world has time to? But we have some ice though. We have some ice in the fridge. You want me to get it? I will. I can get it. Okay. Okay, okay. So we'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go get some ice for this tasting drink or tasting bud drink. Are you supposed <laughs> to put the ice in your mouth or like? I'm pretty sure you put it in a cup. So I'll go get a cup. Okay. I'll go get some ice and then we'll pour this in the cup and then we'll uh, tell you guys what we think. Be right back. Uh, all right. So we are back and we got some uh, some supplies. Got our glass here. Got some ice cubes. Okay, we got our Okinawa Shekwasha drink for your tasting buds. So, <laughs> Phoenix, why don't you hold this glass okay. up? Okay, hold it here, and then I will add the ingredients. So we got some, some ice cubes here. One, two, three. Just two? Two's enough? Okay, and then we got our drink here. So let's open that up. And here we go. Hold it up a little bit higher. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna leave a little bit in the bottle. Okay. So. So I uh, chose it, so I should go first. You did choose it. You can go first. Go ahead and uh, let us know what it tastes like. Can't see you, but by the way, Phoenix. Hmm. Okay, there you go. Mmm. Tasty. Yeah, not much flavor though. Not much flavor. Oh, I do like it a lot. Oh, it's kind of mild. It's kind of like a tea, yeah, actually. But yeah, but I do like it. Um, I'll give it a nine. A nine. You start with not much flavor and then you give it a nine. Well, an eight and a half. <laughs> oh, it doesn't taste like much. That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phoenix is very generous with these scores. Fine, because uh, you. No, 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 no. Don't change your score Seven. because of what I said. Seven, six. No. Nine. <laughs> Give it your Three. honest review. Shh. No. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Give it your honest initial. Fine. Eight reaction. and a half. Eight and a half. 
Yeah. So 0.5 lower than their mint. It, it is good. It is good. It's nowhere near as good, though, in my opinion, as the melon one we had last week or last month. Remember the, the melon milk tea we had? Mm. That was so good. That was like a 10. Mm. Or I think I gave it a 9.5 at least. I think I gave it a 9. This one's nice, very subtle. Um, what's the fruit? What's the fruit that like I'm tasting right now? What do you think? I don't know Try what. I never tried it. I never. I don't know what it, the fruit is called. Um, oh, shikuwasa fruit. Okay, I don't know what shikuwasa fruit is, but it tastes kind of like this uh, citrus fruit, like this like really big citrus fruit that we have. Yeah, especially once it's um, name. Yeah, yeah. It's it's yellow, and it's really big. And it has and you have to like peel it and then like the the flesh is kind of like um I don't it's it's, it's it's like a huge orange it's oh like I think orange, I though. tried I think I tried it once you know what I'm talking about right yeah but I don't know what's called though but maybe it's the same thing it might be the shikawasa fruit it might just be like a different name for uh in, in, in Chinese obviously so um yeah anyways it, it, I, I like it it is it is very subtle but but good okay. So, there's the drink. We should save the DIY for last. Is there a DIY this month? I didn't even know. That's the one. This is DIY? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'll save it for later. I'll save yeah. it for later. So let me put this to the side. And it's my turn, yes? Yes. Only got a couple items here. Uh, before we get to the Kit Kat, let's try this pudding thing. Right here. This box that was hiding behind it. Okay, so it's got a pudding on the box, on the art. And, uh... Yeah, it should be a good time. It should be a good time. I don't okay, want it so. to be a bad time. I don't want it to be a bad time either. You're right, Phoenix. It should always be a good time <laughs> when we do these videos. Um, pie No Me pudding flavor. These I classic pie mini me. pie pastries seem to always be a hit. This edition is caramel pudding with a lovely pudding cream centering a flaky but moist pastry pie. Pastry pie. Put them in the microwave for a treat and enjoy a warm, real warm treat. Okay, so this one we're supposed to put in the microwave, apparently. Do you want to come back again? Um, I guess we can do that. So we got a brown um, bag kind of thing in uh, inside the box. And then I'm gonna open up this bag to show you guys what the pies look like. Okay, so they're essentially these like little puff things. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And apparently we're supposed to warm them up and enjoy them. It doesn't really Let's say... Let's try one uh, without it. You want to try without microwave first? Yeah. Okay, grab one. Cheers. Boom. Oh. Yours is missing some uh, coating. You want to get another one? Nah. You want to try that one? Okay, nah. okay. Mmm. Mmm. Flaky on the outside, chocolate, caramel, and like custard filling actually in the middle. But I can see why it could be better if it's microwaved because the middle would be like kind of melty, right? Be warm. Also, they didn't really coat it, glaze it very well. Like I can see some that's half way uh, coated. Mm -hmm. So that's going to uh, take off half a point. Okay, so do you want to microwave it and yeah. try that? Okay, we'll be right back, guys. All right, so we just microwaved these for about 10 seconds. Um, let's see what the difference is. Here you go. Cheers. Boom. It is hot. It's warm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same. It's kind of the same. I mean, it's slightly warmer. Right? I, I, I think they'll give it a point back. So you took a 0.5 off for the lack of coating, yeah, and then so 0.5 back for the warmth. They basically gave it uh, no, no uh, extra. So what is your score then? So that me that means my score will be eight. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. I'm gonna give it an eight as well. I liked it. Don't love it, but I like it a lot. All right, now let's uh, just grab these remaining ones. We got one, two, three. We actually got one, two, three, four, Wait, five, six, isn't six. Isn't that items. my turn? Yeah. So what do you want? I think I'll just try this. You want the small bottle? Yeah. All right, That's got cute. this tiny bottle. 
tiny pink bottle. Phoenix, why don't you find that in the pamphlet? Here is a look Sour for you guys. Sour bottle candy. Remove on the go and in the palm of your palm of your hand. This tiny mini bottle contains a, a flavored granule remove that tastes so yummy. Receive one of three flavors: green apple, strawberry, and cider. That's the bottle, and it should be strawberry because it is pink. Um. So let's. Why don't you open it up? You just twist it on the top, break that seal, and then I guess pour some into your mouth. Well, how weak. Ah, okay. Try it out. Okay. Shall we put it in our hand? We can just dump it into your mouth, to be honest. Mmm. I don't really taste the strawberry. Yeah, so it's a powder. You just like kind of melt in your mouth immediately. Um, I don't really taste the strawberry either. Where is flavor? It just tastes like sugar. Yeah, I feel- It tastes like powdered sugar. I, I feel so scammed. That's, yeah, gonna scammed. Be, that's gonna be a seven and a half. I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Cause it's just powdered sugar. That's literally what it is. Like I don't even, there's no flavor to it. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm gonna do uh, 0.1. Why do you keep changing your score after I give my score? <laughs> just stick I'll just, to your score. I'll just do a seven. Stick to your score. Okay, yo, you know what? We've been late for long enough. We're gonna grab these Kit Kats. Okay, it's, it's Kit Kat time. It's Kit Kat time. It never failed us. No, Kit Kats never failed us. And this is Peach Parfait. Peach oh. Parfait Kit Kats coming at you. Let's go. Uh, I always enjoy these. What's What's the worst Kit Kat? That like, uh, what do you call it? The the champagne flavored one or whatever for the for the New Year's box. That was not the best. Mm. Not New Year's box, but um, it was the white one. I, I I don't know exactly what the flavor was, but I didn't enjoy that one too much. Remember that one? Describe the rest of the box. I'm not gonna describe the rest of the box. Scene. I cannot. Describe okay. how the crime scene looked like. There are the Kit Kats, one's for Phoenix. Obviously, we're saving a bunch for my family, Taya. So uh, we'll just have one each here. My, oh, mine got semi crushed. Same. Mine's semi crushed. Okay, that's uh, half a point deduction. Half a point deduction, okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mm-hmm. It's peachy. That's going to be a seven. That's going to be uh, eight and a half. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You can't really go wrong with Kit Kats. They're never really bad. Even the worst Kit Kats are We're still good Kit Kats. Do it in it's kind of like, like pizza. Yeah. Even bad pizza is good pizza, you know what I mean? So that's how I feel about Kit Kats. I'm gonna give it at 8.5 as well. I was going to choose a nine, but the deduction. <laughs> exactly points because it's crushed. Yeah, both our Kit Kats came slightly crushed. It was weird. I don't know why. Yeah. But um, okay. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. They lose some points for the quality, but still very good score for the taste. Yeah. For the Kit Kat. So there it is. And now we just got a few minor things to get through before we're done with this box. Mm. Um, let's just grab. Them in order. Okay, let's go with this one. Let's see. Let me, let me, okay, so I'll show you guys what this is. I don't know, it's kind of, some kind of stick. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. A uh, sweet potato fries. Oh, sweet potato fries. Yeah. Tempe is a snack food from Kochi Prefecture, Japan. There are strips of candied sweet potato oh. resembling french fries in appearance, but are hard and sugary in taste. Try it with this on the go snack. Uh, and let us know what you think, okay. So it is it's candy sweet potato, a little oh. sweet potato stick. That's a big one, damn. Look at that. Oh. Oh. That's a huge fry. So it looks like a french fry. Huh? It looks like a french fry. Okay, stop. <laughs> Mm. 
This reminds me of, of another candy. Mmm. I love sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. It reminds me of one of those like candies you would find in those sweet shops. Mmm. Yes, I agree. I agree. Candied. One of those like food stalls in China, right? Yes, candied sweet potatoes. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We went back to China a couple years ago, and we were a bunch of like uh, food stalls, right? And we got these before, or something similar, candy sweet potato. Yeah. I really like their steamed buns. Nine point five. I think it'll be a nine. Nine point five. I love this. I love this so much. But ten points deducted because of they're not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Let's try this one. I don't know what this is. Um, looks like it might be sour though. Looks like it might be sour though. All right, there's the package. Got a weird old man on top or on the front. And Phoenix, take it away. Oom plum candy. Oom, uh, with a plum in Japanese is a, so oom is plum. Okay. Plum uh, is <laughs> a popular food. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> I'll read it. Um, I think it's ume, ume plum candy. Oh. Plum in Japanese is a popular fruit used in many snacks, candies, and cuisines. In this case, it is used to test your luck with a sour twist. Can you handle the sour? Oh. There's a lot of sour candy in this one, Phoenix, in this box. Throw me one. Thank you. So you got a pink pearl. Kind of reminds me of like the Shikon, like the sacred jewel in Inuyasha. And apparently it's uh, supposed to be very sour. I don't think I got it. So I think it's like Russian roulette, where it's like um, only a few of them are sour. And some yeah. of them are sweet. Or maybe they're all sour, it's just the outside is sweet. Hmm. And then it turns sour in the middle. Maybe. So far, nothing. So far, just sweet. Should we just chew it? Wanna just chew it? Mm, I already broke off a piece. Oh, it's so hard. I can get it. You know what? I think it's just like this. Yeah, I think it's just, um like slightly sour in the middle, because it's very plummy. I don't think it's supposed to be super sour, this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Or we just didn't get it. Maybe. Well, that was all right. That's like a seven, 6.5. Um, okay, we got a gum here with a penguin on it, which I don't really want to tap right now, so let's just put that yeah. to the side. We'll have that later. Um, what is this? Coffee oh, beans. Oh, this one has coffee beans on it. Is it just coffee beans? It seems like it is coffee chocolate. Coffee chocolate? So it's flavored uh, grains. All right, this one's not focusing. I tried, whatever. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea for you to have it, Phoenix, yes, because mm -hmm. it is going to be, you know, heavily caffeinated if it is uh, coffee beans. Um, or maybe it's just coffee flavored. Maybe I should just have one. It's tiny, tiny, like, brown balls. Mmm. They're like tiny coffee chocolate balls. And like, you can have a little, okay, you can try one. Try one, see how you like it. Uh -huh. It's kind of bitter. It is, um, got that coffee bitterness. Mmm, I like it. I really like it too, Ashley. So that will be a seven and a half. Eight. Or an eight. Eight? Yeah. That's an eight. eight. Okay. Tasty. And it's gonna be good, because I'm probably gonna work out after this. It's gonna give me a little bit more energy for the workout. So I worked out. Maybe too no pun much intended. Energy. Maybe too uh, much energy. Cola chewing candy. Co oh. Cola chewing candy. This one's good. This, this, this one's gotta be good. This one's gotta be good. You can't this. can't go wrong with cola chewing candy. Gum or gun? Gum or gun? Yeah. Is that what it says? Yeah. No. <laughs> cola shop. You like drinking soda? Feel like eating some candy? This candy brings you to the best of the world with the cold taste of soft candy. Okay, I don't know if anybody heard you, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Let's uh, let's try it out. Cola chewing candy. Um, they they feel kind of hard actually, but okay. Let's open that up. Oh, never mind. Never yeah, mind. You're supposed to break your teeth. It's a drop. It's a tiny drop breaker. Definitely isn't gum. No, nope, it's not gum. It's gone. It's all. It kind of reminds me of that, um, you know that yeah, white kit with like, our make make your own like popsicle. Oh. Right, it's, it's like that texture, right? But instead, it's in it's inside out. Inside out. Yeah. Oh, I mean like the coatings on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's um got like a kind of chocolate filling. I mean not chocolate, uh, cola filling, I guess. And uh, it is very sweet. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It dissolves immediately, which is nice. Like, I don't want to have it, like, stay in my mouth for the rest of the video. But I would give it, like, a, a 6.5, I would say. You know, not bad, but not great. I'll give it a 7. Fair enough. All right, so we cleaned out the box, guys. Nothing left in the box, but we do still have this little DIY kit here, which uh, we'll I guess probably, we can check out. There you we'll go. We'll probably take some time. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably, like... Do a cutaway while we actually it looks pretty simple it looks pretty simple empty powder number one empty water empty powder puck pack it into a cup to fill with water let out more than halfway of the cup mix 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 with the straw and watch it turn sticky all right so what exactly is it supposed to be though i think it's drinking jelly melon i don't want to drink a jelly melon Drinking, what even is a jelly melon? Drinking jelly melon. Okay. Um, I guess it's just like a melon flavored jelly that you drink through a straw. Because they give you a straw, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So there's the straw. So we have a straw. We have a little plastic container uh, where we put the uh, melon powder I guess and I'm gonna go fill this up with uh, water halfway and then we'll mix it and see how That's it is tasty, you know what'd you say it tastes like the dental floss that you would get in the that's not what you want <laughs> I don't wanna... well I just ate the I powder I don't want to drink dental floss okay so I just filled it with water now we gotta mix it so let me grab that we'll use the straw and just mix I guess the consistency should get um, a little thicker. thicker as we do this. Okay. It's kind of a lame DIY, Phoenix, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, one does lame it's a little, It's a little lame and basic, but uh, hey, at least we can get this this over with quick. <laughs> I hope we can. I'm Same sure we can. It doesn't seem to be thickening too much, though. Maybe I added too much water. Is it halfway, right? It's halfway. Well, oh, it's starting to get thicker. Oh yeah, okay. So we're still mixing. It is slightly thicker now. Uh, I mean, how long, does it say how long we're supposed to mix for? Is it like a time? Does it say like, mix for a minute, mix for 30 seconds? Mm. Mix. Just mix. Just keep mixing. Okay, try it. I think we're good. Mix your mix out. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no, 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 oh, okay, oh. Okay, yeah, we saved it, we saved it. Oh, no! The Titanic is sinking. <laughs> the straw almost fell in the thing. Interesting. I think I might be addicted. It does, it does taste like jelly. It does taste like jelly. Stop having the coffee thing. You're too young. <laughs> this guy can't stop eating the coffee beans. It tastes good. Mm-hmm. That actually, yo, I kind of take it back. That's actually quite good. Yeah. Have some more. Uh, that might be a nine and a half. That's too high. A nine oh, is, nine. A 8.5 actually, I think is fair for me. Um, if it's a 9.5 for you, that's okay. That's okay. I, I can't dispute that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's actually surprisingly good. That's surprisingly good. So, Fine, I'll deduct it. Uh, oh my god, Phoenix. <laughs> Gotta form your own opinions. 
you have to not go by what I score these things, you know? That's why I always let you go first, so you can form your own opinion, give a score, and then I'll decide what I want, or, you know, what I think. But, uh, that is, that looks kind of gross, actually. <laughs> it's like leaking out of the straw, it kind of looks like snot. <laughs> Doesn't it? Mm. It kind of looks like boogers. Okay, stop doing that, that's gross. <laughs> He's like blowing it out now. Okay, that's that's where we're gonna end the video, guys. That's gonna where we're gonna where we're gonna end the video. I think that's a good place to stop. Phoenix, come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. Okay, so um, there's the June Japan crate, guys. Overall, uh, very good. One of the better boxes we've had recently. Um, Phoenix, what would you score it? Uh, overall, as a box. I think I'll score it at a nine and a half. I'll give it a nine. I think overall I'm gonna give it a nine, mainly because it's all sweet. It's all sweet, and I like savory more than sweet actually. So I Same. really wanted, you know, some kind of like a savory chip, some kind of a favorite I really savory. Want, I like chips, though. chips. Yeah, you know, some kind of like a savory snack, you know. But um, aside from that, I mean, I still like sweet snacks. It's just I like savory stuff more. So hopefully next time we get a little bit more savory and not just all sweet. And I think both of our favorites was either uh, this one right here, the strawberry chocolate pretzel, or this one, the chocolate Patrick Star. What happened to the peach uh, caramel corn? Peach caramel corn's good too, but I, I don't know. I, it, it, I, I, this, this I think I would give a nine, right? But those two I think are just slightly better. Slightly better. Like the pretzel one I really like because of the crunchiness. I love the, the crunchiness of this pretzel, so I'll say this is probably my favorite. But overall, very good box, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, shout out to Phoenix, of course, for being here, for being uh, my fellow taste tester and reviewer. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this month's video. We'll be back again, of course, with the July box next month with uh, the Tanabata celebration or the uh, you know, Tanabata themed snacks, hopefully. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And Phoenix, any last words before we get out of here? Yeah, bye? I'm, I'm gonna take the, oh, oh, but he said bye. He said bye, there we go. <laughs> Alright guys, have an awesome day. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.